Yo, what's up? Name's Gently01, and welcome back to more Soul Calibur 2 weapon mode. As in the last episode, we went through the Court of the Dead and then beat up Leon. And now, I'm pretty sure this is the. Yep, unleash all of your power and vanquish the enemy. It's the final battle, but don't worry, there's more to this game after this. It's just pretty much all going to be considered bonus content, but I'm going to count his normal episodes. I'm going to go as far as I feel like. Because this is the end of the main story. But I'm going to keep going for as far as I feel like. I'm probably not going to be doing... You know what? We're going to see how far it goes. I'm going to go until I'm bored. And then we're going to bring back the hype up on this channel with the next Let's Play. Jet, must you continue to stand in my way to the very end? Leon looked up at you as he lay collapsed on the floor. Again, why do these people keep looking up at us as they're collapsed on the floor when we throw them into water and acid and stuff? Looking up at me and speaking is going to get you drowned, sir. You would caught up and succeed in stopping him. You sighed in relief, but then soon realized something was wrong. Leon, too, merely looked on speechlessly at what began to unfold. The two of you were no longer in the dungeon, but in the middle of a desolate plain. Black clouds covered the sky, darkening the area. Cracks appeared in the ground, and flames erupted in the, into the air. A figure approached slowly from a distance. Its armor rattled with each step it took. Flames covered its sword, and periodically they reached out to lick across its entire body. It can't be! Leon uttered words of disbelief. Jet, did you really think it would be so easy to destroy me with all the power I obtained? To destroy Soul Edge? Ha <laughs> ha, how naive. With each word he spoke, flames burst from Viral's mouth. Whoa. That's even more of a crazy comeback than Viral from Gurren Lagann made. It's like, you're dead. Nope, he's just in prison. Don't worry. He's okay. Now be gone, my foe, for I must become complete. I must become the Soul Reaver to live up to the legacy of Cain. <laughs> I really need to play that game more. Reading on TV Tropes made me want to buy it, and I bought it. And I'm li I like the tutorial. It makes it look good. And I need to sit... I need to... After this, I'm going to sit here and play it. Okay, okay, good. The heat radiating from Viral intensified. The flames of his sword doubled their fervor, and in the next instant, his entire body became a raging inferno. Battle versus Inferno. Watched over by the Almighty Ones, they unleash their fury. Final battle. Fight. Let's get serious. Okay. Be that be that way then. <laughs> yes, welcome to the final battle of a fighting game. AI, full cheat mode, stats buffed all the way up. You know what? I wish somebody would go and make... Somebody should go make like a mod for Mugen or something and set this Inferno versus uh, Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat 9 but then remove his taunt from Mortal Kombat 9 because that was his only weakness. That's the only way I ever beat arcade mode against Shao Kahn was just back away until he would taunt you and then hit him with an uppercut. So yeah, this is arcade mode Inferno, basically. He's got three phases, he switches weapons each phase. However, this one has a whole lot more strength. Like, they gave him the maximum strength weapons and then boosted his attack power even further. Like you saw there, he did over 66% of my health in one throw, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be difficult. This is why I set this off into an entire episode of its own. And he always starts off as Nightmare, and Nightmare is widely known to be broken in every possible Soul Calibur game ever. And I probably shouldn't have on Big Goron Sword for this, but I don't know where to get Link's ultimate weapon. I checked the store here. I'm pretty sure I checked the store here. Did I check the store here? I'm going to be mad at myself if there's a better weapon in the store here. And I didn't even look. Shop. Pretty sure I checked it. Big girl on sword Sinval. New costumes. No. It's not in here. I guess it is post-game that you get the best weapons. I could have sworn I remember uh, sitting here in this final battle with the best weapon. Okay, I got a throw. He gets a throw. Just look at that. Four attacks. 
Ah, <sighs> fighting games. I mean, really, Galactus is easier in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Of course, I say that and I don't really know what difficulty this fight is considered to be at. And I've only played on normal in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So I may be misinformed as to how powerful Galactus really is. Stop it! No. And I'm still gonna lose because I have to sit here and fight with nothing but throws. Yep. Oh, so difficult. But at least there for a second you can kind of see that Inferno is actually made up of Soul Calibur. Like, you can kind of see that there when he was standing over me, his spine was Soul Calibur. It's really cool how they put, like, they show that if you put the two powers together, it becomes obscenely dangerous. Stop it. Gotcha. Okay. I still think I'm going to lose, though. I've taken too much damage, so my own swings are going to be my downfall. Unless I can sit here and do throws. Okay, so we got through the Cervantes phase. What's his last phase? Raphael. Of course. Gotta be freaking Raphael. I was about to say, did I do it? I did do it! Yes! Like, did I do it? But no, he had a little bit left. But I did win! I did win! We won! Link won! Link has vanished Ganondorf! Vanished Ganondorf. No, he has banished Ganondorf to the realm of darkness. Weapon Master opening video is now available. Doesn't matter, I already have it on my memory card in slot B. Which would be the memory card in slot A. But I needed slot B's card to borrow it for this. So the last remains of Inferno's flames blew away. There was nothing left of the madman. So Link stood before, before the sword and wondered at it. The legacy lives on today because people always want the ultimate weapon. Brilliant social commentary right there. Brilliant. They saw right through us all. Unfortunately, even though Soul Edge was defeated, nobody remembers Link. Because he didn't appear outside of the GameCube version. People only remember Viral as a footnote. This entire thing was completely irrelevant. Makes sense why it's on my channel. One time a swordsman... Okay, so it's just saying all the people who used the sword. And it actually has the month and the year properly down there. Of when you beat this. Which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, it's really freaking cool. I love when games do stuff like that, like in Mother 3 where you put your own name in at the prayer shrine and then multiple times through the game they bring up your actual name and it's like, whoa, mind is blown. Congratulations! You shall find your place in history and become a legend, a legend that will never die. Nope, I won't. But yeah, that's Soul Calibur 2 Weapon Master Mode. The basics of Weapon Master Mode, it ain't over yet. It's not over yet. Not in the slightest. Okay, so it is. You beat the game. Okay. Where the heck is Subchapter 1? Or Subchapter 2, then? Subchapter 3, Pollux. I don't even know. But yes, you beat the game. And then you go through and all the missions are doubled. You now have the ability to pick through two versions of each weapon. So, again, like, for example, here's the tutorial. You now have... Combatants are launched high into the air when knocked against the wall of the ground, and everybody recovers health. It's extra mission, so you get to go through the game again and have all sorts of fun. It's nice. It's really nice that they do that. Because this is episode 13, and we got through the entire main story already. But now we get to go through the high difficulty challenges. Okay, come on. I'm focusing intently here. No! I lose. But yeah, this is basically hard mode. You go back through the game, there's more challenges, the AI is more difficult. And I think you get more stuff in the shops, maybe? Is 
Is it here? Maybe? I don't remember where the... There it is. Or no. Never mind. What was it? It was Merrick, wasn't it? Yeah, and I still I have no idea how to get to the stuff. Okay. I don't know. But yeah, after you beat the game, more stuff. More stuff to do. So this is this series is not over. I'm my I might be going through a bunch of the other stuff. Like I'll probably go through and find the fun ones and do those. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see. I haven't even decided yet. I forgot how short the game was. I thought it was longer because I played through all of these chapters again. And that's what I remember. Um, let's go for one mission. I don't think this has been long enough yet. I'm probably wrong. But hey, it's the final battle. We had the final battle this episode. You can deal with it, can't you? Aha. I don't know how he avoided that first one. Nope. Ow. Ow. No way. And he perfected me because his health heals. It's kind of funny that the game does that. If they heal up back to full, it still counts as a perfect. Let's try again. One more try. Versus Cassandra. That's one of the things that make this game so good. Is that it? It's one of the few games, for me at least, that gives me that one more try feeling. Just be like, I gotta keep going. But yeah, they cr they crank the AI up for this. Like it will now literally. Just for now, it's they're going to sit here and be able to read all of your moves. Like, you put in a button input, and that's what's going to kill you, is that you hit a button. Because they're going to read your button input and attack based on that. Yeah, I was complaining about it cheating before, it's cheating now. Like, this is where they just admit to cheating. But anyways, this has been Jet Lumen 1, and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed that final battle. Thank you.